And now, the general weather around Alaska. Welcome everyone to Alaska Weather. I'm meteorologist Peter Chan coming to you from the National Weather Service in Alaska region on this Friday, October 24th, 2025. And we are now two weeks since the devastating impact of ex-Typhoon Halong that just hammered the western coast of Alaska, particularly the yukon kuskokwim Delta. And those recovery operations continue and it's gonna be a very long ongoing process. We're just right now trying to get things uh, prepped before the winter freeze up and the immediate needs of helping people who have had homes damaged or lost, let alone just the displacement from such a historic storm. Good news is this weekend overall, the weather will be a little better there than what it was this past week. We've had some pretty strong north-northwest winds the past couple of days. Those will let up a bit. Now the active storm track is gonna be out over the western bearing, cutting across the Aleutians, North Pacific, and then pulling up into the Gulf. We're not gonna see any really big storm this weekend, early next week, but as the week goes on, the energy and a couple of stronger systems are gonna be pulling up into the Gulf that'll impact southeast Alaska as we get toward Halloween and following that into early November. So there'll be couple few rounds of some stronger winds and heavier precipitation long parts of the Gulf Coast, especially there up into the Panhandle as we uh, get into middle, latter half of next week and early November. So what happens is when you have that happen, the overall circulation across the mainland is northeast to north, which pulls down colder air. So we're going to see temperatures across much of the mainland, especially the mainland interior, Brooks Range, north slope, west side of the state, turn seasonably colder, and just that hint, uh, we're sliding into early winter uh, type pattern in temperatures. Bethel clear skies this afternoon, 31 degrees. This is the major hub for some of the air operations that are part of the recovery from Halong. At least there this afternoon, sunny skies, winds holding up out of the northwest about 15 miles an hour. Chifornak there between Tuxik Bay and Kipnik, clear skies 35, an area that was hit very hard by those strong winds and coastal uh, storm surge flooding. At least uh, the weather there right now clear, but as we go into Saturday and Sunday, there is going to be a trough coming off the Bering Sea that'll bring some snow showers or snow showers that could be mixed with a little bit of rain. Nothing too terribly heavy, but that would be the main weather thing here, especially for Saturday afternoon and into Sunday. Now going down to the southeast, Prince of Wales Island, Heidelberg, partly sunny, 45, you're enjoying kind of a break in the action from the, the heavier rains and wind. There will be a system coming up on Tuesday that could bring another round of some wind and rain. And then toward Halloween, and then thereafter, a couple other systems that are likely to have a series of windy, wet, uh, weather issues there. Now way into the north, Chandelar there just below below uh, Adigan Pass. Some overcast skies, 11 degrees. Temperatures up there along the Brooks Range will be down in the single digits, generally just above zero. But these areas along the Brooks Range, Upper Yukon, between the Brooks Range, Yukon, you're just gonna see temperatures just gradually turn colder. Not a whole lot of snow. There'll be a chance of some patchy snow, patchy light snow. But just note, now into early November, steady uh, turning colder trend and at times depending on how strong the low is in the Gulf you're gonna see some stronger northeasterly winds develop especially through some of the the gaps so keep that in mind here for the latter half of next week and past the following weekend so at least on the hazardous weather maps as of this Friday mid-afternoon we do not have any watch warnings or advisories for a change and that is good news quiet is good right now and looking at the satellite imagery, here's a low that was part of a system now pulling out of the Western Gulf. Notice the popcorn showery variety of these clouds. There could be a few isolated flashes of lightning rumbles of thunder within these systems. Also out here toward uh, St. Matthew, St. Paul, with there's a low out here in the Western Bering with a trough. This trough is gonna bump up against the YK uh, Delta coastline and bring a few scattered showers here for the uh, weekend, but that's about the most notable weather there. Winds are going to tend to slack off a bit here over the weekend, not be as strong as what they were past couple of days. And so on the weather map, 
Later this Friday night, early Saturday morning, the low in the Western Gulf continues the energy to slide southeastward into the North Pacific. Another little weak wave of low pressure rotates along just enough to keep a few lingering scattered showers along the Panhandle Gulf Coast. We have some pockets of light snow across the interior. And then back here in the west, there's that low along the Kamchatka Peninsula, eastern Russia with this front weakening as it comes inland. But it's not really going to pull way inland. It's just going to kind of wash out along uh, the YK Delta, as I said, with a few uh, some scattered snow showers that could be mixed with a little bit of rain since daytime temperatures could get uh, a couple degrees above freezing or so. And by Saturday afternoon, here we have that front just kind of nudging in. And there are those few scattered snow showers or mixed rain snow showers. And they could make it up into St. Mary's or even Bethel, but at least not a major storm. What's going to eventually happen, though, is this energy over the bearing is going to head southeastward, link up with other lows coming out of the North Pacific, and that's going to force the moisture, windy weather systems up into the Gulf and especially into the Panhandle. So the Panhandle is going to see some stormier weather here next week, especially the latter half leading up to uh, Halloween and then beyond that into the uh, early part of November as the interior turns colder. So we have some building high pressure northwest Canada into the northern interior on Sunday. Here comes that energy beginning to slide southeast. We're now out of the western bearing. And we have still some weak lingering low pressure here south of the Gulf back toward the western uh, Gulf. There's going to be another low come up out of the North Pacific that'll be a bit stronger. Now does it get far enough north to zing? Uh, the southern panhandle will have to wait, but that could happen on Tuesday into Wednesday. Uh, at the very least, it'll get Haida Gwaii in British Columbia, but we'll keep an eye on that one because that, that, that is going to pull back a bit toward the north-northwest. Meanwhile, here comes that low pressure energy sinking southeastward across the Bering. It'll be crossing in into the North Pacific on the other side of the eastern Aleutians and the Alaska Peninsula. Here's a hint at some other energy. All of this will translate across the Aleutians, so the stormier uh, unsettled weather pattern will be for next week along the Aleutians, North Pacific, and then pulling up into the Gulf with at least two or three different systems with some wind and heavier precipitation pulling up along the northeastern Gulf Coast into the Panhandle, especially latter half of next week and for next weekend. So that's just kind of a preview. And meanwhile, it just gets colder here across the interior. So low Saturday morning, we could see some single digits, Attigan, Anatubic Pass, otherwise teens along the Beaufort Sea coast, 20s uh, Seward Peninsula over towards Savunga. And overall, just to cool down, we may still see readings stay uh, near or just above freezing, maybe from parts of Anchorage down into the Kenai Peninsula, like at Seward and Homer. And then the Panhandle, 40 degree readings at Sitka on over toward uh, Ketchikan and Klawak. And readings along the Aleutians, upper 30s, maybe near 40 there at Dutch Harbor. For Saturday afternoon, uh, the warmest readings will be here along the outer western southern part of the Panhandle, upper 40s, near 50 degrees in some spots, especially if you can manage a little bit of late season sun. Otherwise, highs near 40 around Anchorage. You get up further north, 31 or so at Fairbanks, along areas of the interior uh, southwest, Bethel on up toward, say, places like Anvik and going up toward even McGrath. You're going to see more in the way of sunshine in this area, but that little trough coming in will bring a few more clouds and some scattered snow, maybe mixed rain and snow showers along the YK deltas and temperatures in the 40s along the lower part of the uh, Alaska Peninsula and uh, Lucians. Sunday morning, similarly, single digits around Attigan and Etubic Passes, 10 above or so there at um, Arctic Village, teens along the Beaufort Sea Coast, Utqiadvik to Kaktovik. 20s, Seward Peninsula. Uh, depending on the amount of cloud cover, it might stop upper 20s around 30 degrees here along, again, areas of the uh, Yukon and Kuskokwim coast. Uh, still upper 30s near 40, Sitka down through Ketchikan, Metlakatla, and generally uh, mid to maybe upper 40s trailing out into the eastern Aleutians, though the northern part of the Alaska Peninsula, as you get up there, Lake Iliamna, you can see some temperatures in the teens. Sunday afternoon, uh, high temperatures stuck in the teens here along the spine of the Brooks Range, 20s lower, maybe mid-20s along the Arctic coast. Squeak out 32 at Nome because you're going to be getting more of a, a onshore flow off of Norton Sound to help that temperature there. 
Otherwise, the panhandle, some 40s, maybe 51 around Klawak and um, Heidelberg. And then looking back out here from Kodiak City down toward Faults Pass, Cold Bay, those areas could have temperatures up around or just above 40 degrees. So here's the 6 to 10 day temperature outlook taking us from just before thanks, uh, Thanksgiving, not quite, jumping ahead there, Halloween, October 30th through the first few days of November. Definitely colder than normal temperatures expected along the west side of the state, especially YK deltas into Bristol Bay and the Alaska Peninsula, all in part because you're going to have these low pressure up here in the Gulf. So when you have that circ broad circulation, you have northeast north flow drawing down colder air. So these areas are going to see some colder temperatures than normal along the western half of the mainland, whereas near normal temperatures expected the eastern mainland into the southeast. And precipitation wise, we do expect precipitation to average above normal here to close out October and start November. All across the southeast, Panhandle, northeastern Gulf Coast, Yakutat on up into, say, McCarthy, Northway because of that flow of moisture coming in up off of the Gulf. Meanwhile, back to the west because of the drier, colder, northeast to northerly flow, we expect precipitation to average below normal. Eastern Seward Peninsula around Norton Sound, the middle Yukon dropping down to around Bethel. So that's the way things are looking. It's pretty, I'm pretty confident overall. That's a, a pretty consistent uh, pattern outlook here to take us through the end of October and the start of November.